Hi, it's Vex. Today, we're going to continue opening our VIP edition of Double Masters. This is a sealed case. Remember, it's got the stop tape on here. I do not recommend buying individual uh, items. I know I, I opened this a little earlier. Um, do not recommend buying individual items off the open market because they do not have the wizard seal. And because they do not have the wizard seal, oh, it's nice, not that great. Um, somebody could just reseal it and then you might just get hosed. So either buy it from the case with the tape. Remember, always check for the tape. And don't buy individually unless you know from a reputable dealer right here. There's no Wizards tape seal. So anybody just reseal this. So again, like on my previous video here, uh, we have four uh, Double Masters VIP edition. This is only the tip of the iceberg, right? This, this is the beginning. $100 packs right here. Next step, $200, $300, $400, $500, all the way to $1,000. they are going to do $1,000 packs. Just warning you. It's got to be like chrome, metallic, foil, you know, one of two. You know, you need to buy 20 pallets to get something. Who knows? They're going to. This is just a gateway drug. So now we're going to see what we get. You know, we have four packs here. We did all right on our previous opening. Uh, let's hope we... We win the lottery here. We're looking for man crit force of will. I actually like the non full force of will art better. I know a lot of people have um strong judgments about that art, but you know, I really like the art, uh, so that's what I really want. And also, I forgot, uh, wizards, if you save the UPC uh, and complain to wizards about their false, uh, false, false marketing about two mythics, um, you you might, I, I found this on Reddit, you might be able to get a, one pack per VIP booster. One pack of regular double masters per VIP boosters uh, UPC you send in. So don't don't throw away the boxes. Save the boxes. Um, don't do that. I just they just toss it away like nothing. All right, let's see. Let's uh, welcome ourselves back to Vegas. You know we are on the high roller table. We're looking for good good box toppers. We're looking for some Tron pieces, uh, good foil rares, EDH playable cards. So. Bone Picker, <laughs> Everflowing Chalice, that's a good EDH card right there, good for Atraxa. Vampire Hex Mage, uh, good for our Dark Depths Legacy deck. Oops, separate that. No Tron pieces, very sad. Let's see here, nothing good so far. Dread Return, that's good for Dredge. All right, starting off with a miss. Magus of the Abyss. I'd rather have the Abyss itself, but that's on reserve list, cannot be reprinted. Sculpting Steel. Okay, this is not a bad card, but there's actually a um, Kaladesh invention of it. So, it's not uh, right have that version. All right, let's see our first box topper. Oh, God, I hate this card. Brainstorm. It's not a bad card. Well, the card itself is amazing. The art is just, you know, it's, it's, it's my opinion, right? Some people love the art. Some people just don't like it. I don't like it. I plan to get rid of these. I'd rather have the Marquee Mass Brainstorm any day or the original one. Ice Age. All right, let's go for a Mythic. Let's go for the bottom, actually. It's blue. Oh, oh my God. Starting off strong. Force of Will, right there. Ding, 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 jackpot. <laughs> Woo, that is a hit. That is a hit. That's what we want. You know, I'll tell you what, it's nice to start off strong and then it doesn't matter if it goes downhill. You got, you got, you got yourself a hit. It sucks to like, you know, kind of like build yourself up. I, I, I guess it's good to hit in the last pack because you're just like building up, you know, crappy card versus crappy card. Um, but it's, it is a good start off early. Now now the pressure is off. You know, I'm, I'm like happy to get any other stuff, but whew, that was a hit. Unbelievable. I I, I, I was not expecting it. I, I was just like, the other box kind of disappointed me a little bit. I was like, okay, fine. That's If, if that's what we're... Uh, Expecting, you know, keep my expect expectations low. It takes 30 boxes to get a force of will. It's one in 30. Um, so it wasn't guaranteed. I, I could buy a whole case of 16, never see a force of will. Uh, but, you know, whew, there we go. Start off strong. Does that mean I had to get four of them for my legacy deck? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trading that away. I'll tell you that. All right. Always looking for Tron pieces here. No, no. Piece for Tron deck, not just Tron pieces. Anything that goes in a Tron deck. 
Woo, I'm still, I'm still just well, excited for that. You know, they these go hand in hand. Brainstorm Force of Will. If you have a deck of Force of Will, you usually have Brainstorm. So that's pretty interesting. Veteran Explorer, good Nick fit there. Again, Galvanic Blast. Uh, I wish they had this in Pioneer, actually. Um, but they don't have Metalcraft cards in Pioneer. The Salt Monolith, that is a good hit. The Uncommon Common Slots, you know, still have some good hits, but Salt Monolith is really good. Thirst for Knowledge. Blink Moth Nexus, first rare. So this has been reprinted in, um, I think, original Mir Mirrodin had the first printing, then Modern Masters one, and then one more time, I forgot. It was, it's been reprinted quite, quite a bit. It's not as good as Ink, like Ink Moth. Let's see what we get here. Dark Steel Forge, woo, that is a foil mythic. Remember, the first slot, you, you can't get four myths in the first slot. But this is insane. This is an EDH powerhouse. You can do some shenanigans with this and Never Nero's Disc. That looks gorgeous. This is a second reprinting. It's printed in a core set in the original Dark Steel, I think. All right, let's see what we get. Not Brainstorm. Or is this mine? That's a Tron piece. We're actually looking for regular Tron. We're not looking for, like, the fancy Tron. Because that's really too expensive for me at this point. But it's not bad again. Or is this mine? But... Oh, it's not great at all. You can probably just buy a whole playset for a couple hundred dollars. Like the price of all this, you can get a whole playset of Urza's uh, masterpiece. Oh, oh, God, sword feast and famine. Okay, you know the first slot sucks, but man, does the second slot make up for it? Wow, the art is amazing. I wish you can't see it, but there's like a dude right here, a dead skeleton dude. So you see death right here on this side, and see life kind of like right here, feast and famine. That is what we're looking for here. Some, some cool tokens. Oh man, we got to get some full, nice full tokens for our EDH decks. Again, in EDH, I always say, always have the tokens. These are very important but to have. This is really cool. Um, I could put this in my uh, copy, in my Paco Hal Haldane deck when I copy and steal stuff. Okay, two good hits. Wow. Wow. I mean... I'm not sure if they try to make a case, you know, try to even out the value in the case. So maybe these two are just decent. Um, or who knows? I'm not sure they're going to give me four hits in a row. That would be ridiculous. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Actually, I'm very sad about this Merit, Merit Lady's token. It used to have a gold border right here. They just, I don't know what happened. I feel lazy about it. So, Lightning Axe. All right. Let's see anything good. Balduvian Rage. This is the first reprinting since Cold Snap goes in your Feather deck. So this got cheaper for everybody. Feather EDH deck, I mean. Not not standard deck. <laughs> Old Chase Daredevil. Cool vintage combo with Real Smith. Dark Seal Citadel. So this can go in my uh, a Pioneer deck. Pioneer is it in Soul. I know I've got a lot of decks I got to fold out. Path of Exile. This is sweet. Oh, still, you know, you know, it's reprinted a gazillion times. Modern Masters 1, Modern Masters 3. Uh, tons of promos. It's still beautiful. It's still good. Clone Shell. It's probably for the clone token, right? Let's see here. What we got? Valorous. Oh, no, not the rare. Yeah, I thought the rare is coming up. Vishkal. Oh, this is a good commander. Oh, man, if I didn't already have an Orzhov commander, I would think about making this as my commander. A little, little aristocrat style. You can sack and destroy people with like kind of like laser beaming them down with your to your uh, one one counters. High market, okay. That's not as good. Okay, let's see what we get. This has got to be a rare. Blood Moon. Wow, wow, that's a great card. I, I am I love love this card. Let's see what we get again here. Academy Ruins. You know we actually got this combo last um our last pack opening, but you know what? Wow, Blood Moon's a beautiful card. We'll take it. We are taking. We got we are empty on our Tron pieces here. You know, this full of force could be like a Tron, P you know, it goes in a Tron deck. <laughs> That's about it. Got tokens. So, I mean, I'm, I'm stretching it here. I'm really stretching it here because we got no Urza Trons, no maps, no uh, Ancient Stirrings, Snow Stars. But you know what? Wow. All right. So, let's see what we get. I wonder, though, um, like between Force Will and Mana Crypt. I feel like from the from the Eternal Masters, uh and from uh, the um the uh Masterpiece series, that Mana Crypt is the one that has more value over time. Uh because it's using all EDH decks, right? If if you got an EDH deck, no matter what deck, monocolor, colorless, five colors, uh can use the mana crypt. 
Force of Will is mainly for legacy. You know, a lot of people want to pimp out their legacy decks, but you know, there's a bunch of for pimp Force of Wills already. So maybe the new people want to pimp out their legacy decks like me. I won't get Force of Wills, but I actually want the regular foil art Force of Wills. Oh, there it is. Oh, two pieces for my Tron deck. Three, wow, wow, Every, they're just raining. I'll take it. Three pieces for Tron. I was complaining a little while ago. Maybe I should start complaining more. Might get me uh, what I want. It seems the way, way Wizards work. You complain, like people complain about Pioneer. They got the bands they want. All right, Valor Stance. It's always the last one. Okay. All right, we're hoping for a Foil Mythic. Well, I know it has to be Foil Rare here. Basalt my Oh, wow. I keep tricking myself here. That's still a good card. I'll take that. That's just as good as a Foil Rare, to tell you the truth. It's probably worth more than most Foil Rares. Hannah Ship Navigator. Not worth that much, but, you know, she's really cool. And EDH, I have her in my Layla deck. All right, let's see. Mythic. Oh, my God. Wow, this, this, this is the... The box doesn't doesn't stop giving. That looks gorgeous. I actually have a masterpiece one of these, but it still looks gorgeous. Oh, but you know what's, what's more gorgeous is so sort of light and shadow in the this box topper art. Oh my god! Once they masterpiece, I mean the Kaldash uh, inventions. This is the prettiest sword in in its um, full art form. Now I wish I get I wish I could get it. Oh my god, Thoughtseize! Wow, this is the pack. It just doesn't stop. Oh my God, Jace the Mind Sculper. Wow. Okay. All right. This is this is what we want when we buy boxes. I mean, my God, look at this. You got two good hits. You got a, you got a jackpot. You got the the third most expensive card. Maybe this is the, within the top five, six. Oh my God. Like you, you can't ask for something better. I mean, you can ask for something better, but. And then just just look at this. Look at the rares. You got Thoughtseize, Blood Moon. These are okay, but man, I feel like we got like five hits out of eight. And then you can't ask for more than that, can you? I guess you could, but you, you know, wow. Just wow. And then you also got Sword of Light and Shadow. And, well, I, I put that, <laughs> I was just totally not distracted. I didn't even put it in the rare pile. You got Dark Steel Forge. You got two Mythics. Last time we didn't even get any full Mythics here in this slot. So this looks gorgeous, and this is just gorgeous as well. This is definitely playable. All these are good EDH cards right here. These four. Wow, I was not. I, I saw Thought Season. I was just like, whatever. You just give me a brainstorm after Thought Season. I'll just be happy, whatever, because I got a good card. But man, they just like upped it one with Chase. Woo. All right. I, I've got one more four pack um, of Double Masters left. I I didn't buy the full sixteen. It's just. Way too expensive buying that in regular boxes, but you know who knows? I might buy four more today since I feel I I I, I am on a high. Uh, wow, wow! All right, so you know if what do you guys think? You guys think this is a good good box opening? Because I, I mean, it's a good box opening. I'm not gonna deny it. Do, have you guys seen better box openings? If you do, you know, add add some link in the description because I really really want to see. Remember, it's it's just a four pack. You you can't like say sixteen packs. It's a good box opening, but. I want to see a four pack box opening that's like just as good as this or better because I this is amazing. Like I I am on cloud nine, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, but we got it. We're here. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, definitely smash the thumbs up button. Smash the thumbs up button for all all the good cards we got. Um, smash also smash hit do whatever click that that subscribe button. You know help support the channel. Help me get more and more of these insane packs. And as always, have a wonderful day.